Can welcome everyone to the 14th meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. We've got apologies today from Alison Harris and Mary Fee. Uh, the first item of business is to propose the committee takes items 5, 6 and 7 on the Delegated Powers provisions in bills uh, and the committee's work programme in private. Does the committee agree to that? Okay. Second item, we're considering two instruments under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. Uh, we're considering the scrutiny procedure under which they've been laid and the categorisation applied by the Scottish Government. So we've got instrument SSI 2019-128. That's been laid under the negative procedure and has been categorised as of low significance. The instrument corrects deficiencies in relation to the UK's planned withdrawal from the EU by updating references to the UK being a, quote, member state and amending the form of blue badge being issued to disabled people for display in motor vehicles in Scotland. The instrument's not been subject to the sifting process under the SSI protocol by reason of urgency as set out in the policy note accompanying this instrument. Uh, but our advisers indicate the scrutiny procedure and categorisation could be appropriate. Do members have any comments? No comments? So is the committee content the appropriate scrutiny procedure and categorisation has been applied to the instrument? Okay. Uh, instrument SSI 2019-142 has been laid under the negative procedure and has been categorised as of medium significance. The regulations amend various pieces of legislation relating to sunbeds and the sale of tobacco products, cigarette papers and nicotine vapour products in order to correct deficiencies arising in relation to the UK's planned withdrawal from the EU. Our advisers indicate the scrutiny procedure and categorisation could be appropriate. So is the committee content with that? Okay. And item three, we're considering two instruments subject to the negative procedure. The first instrument is SSI 2019-128, which we've just considered under item two. And we've now before us for technical scrutiny purposes. The regulations were laid before Parliament on the 1st of April, came into force on the same day at 4 p.m. This does not respect the requirement that at least 28 days should elapse be be between the laying of an instrument subject to the negative procedure and the coming into force of that instrument. But the reasons for the breach are set out in correspondence with the presiding officer, which is available in our published papers. Standing orders require the committee to draw to the Parliament's attention any failure to respect the 28-day laying requirement. Does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on report, reporting ground J as they fail to comply with the requirements of section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Act 2010? Agreed. Okay. And is the committee content that failure to comply with section 28 is acceptable in the circumstances? Okay. No points have been raised on SSI 2019-142. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Okay. And item four, we're considering instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI's 2019 139 and 140. Is the committee content with these? Okay. okay. And I'll move the meeting into private.